Welcome back everybody, Patrick here. In this question, we're told that two cylinders have their respective radius and heights in a ratio of two to five and five to three. And we have to determine the ratio of their volumes. So showing this in a diagram, let's call this cylinder one here. And then this is cylinder two. Now, by the way, these are not going to be to scale at all, but I just want to show this visually before we get into the actual calculations. So we're told that the ratio of the radiuses or the radii, I think that's the plural form for radius, is two to five. And then the height the ratio is five to three. So what that means is that this here represents, uh, so let's say cylinder one. This here represents cylinder two. And same thing here. This is cylinder one. This is cylinder two. And let's call this up here. Cylinder one, and then we got cylinder two. So for cylinder one, radius is two, and then the height is, uh, let's actually write it on the side here, um, five. Like that, and remember this is all relative. So this could be four and 10, this can be um, six and 15, it's all relative. But the, um, the simplified, uh, ratios are given here. So two for the radius of cylinder one, five for the height of cylinder one. And then um, for cylinder two, the radius is five. And then the height is given as um, three. All right, so like I said, this is not to scale because technically this cylinder should be shorter and wider but um, yeah, anyway, I'm just showing this visually in a diagram so you could see it better. Okay, so we have to determine the ratio of their volume. So let's start off by finding what's the volume of uh, cylinder one. Well, we know that the volume of a cylinder is what? It's pi r squared h. So what's the radius of cylinder one? It's two. And then the height is five. So two squared is four times five is 20. So 20 pi. That is the volume of cylinder one. Let's do the volume of cylinder two, pi r squared h, so pi radius is five, that's squared, height is three, so this is 25 times three, which is 75, so this is 75 pi, so this is volume of cylinder two. And now they're asking what's the ratio of their volume. So if we want to take the ratio of the volumes, what we can do is we could take the volume of cylinder one and put it over the volume of cylinder two. And now we would um, reduce this. So notice that the pi's cancel out. And then notice 20 over 75, five can go into both. So 20 divided by five gives us four. And then 75 divided by five gives us 15. So that there is the final answer. Four over 15 is the ratio, the reduced ratio of their volumes. So you first wanna find the volume for each one. And then you could put the volume of one of them over the other and then reduce it 
you have your ratio.